Thanks, Gary. I'm here in the O'Shaughnessy Clock Tower, the home of WSNDFM Notre Dame's radio station, and I'm joined by Ed Jarzewski, who's been a broadcaster here at WSND for the past 43 years. Ed, thanks for joining me. Tell us a little bit about WSND. What type of programming do you guys offer? WSND is an educational station. It was put on the air to offer us some alternative programming that was not available in the area and from other broadcasters. We do classical music, uh, jazz, uh, some regular Gabe, Celtic music, uh, Broadway tunes, uh, a little bit of popular non-rock tunes like Frank Sinatra and a few other different things on the air we've, we've, we've like dabbled into over the years. And do you guys broadcast 24 hours a day or during breaks when students aren't here? Uh, no, we're on the air 365 days a year. Our average broadcast day is about 7 a.m. in the morning till about 2 a.m. in the morning. And tell us a little bit about how um, o the O'Shaughnessy Clock Tower became WSND's home. Uh, WSND was originally in the field house, the basketball arena, and one little corner of it. And when the building was built, uh, they approached Father Hesburgh, and Father Hesburgh said, you guys want the clock tower? And so here we are. And that's when uh, the clock tower became the home of broadcasting. So thank you, Father Ted. And now talking about yourself, how did you become a broadcaster here at WSND? Uh, in 1972, the university had uh, increased the power of the station. They had to stay on the air all year round. The students needed some help during the summer, and so they called in. I was a part of the very first group of students, of non-students that came in from the community to help them fill in hours so they could stay on the air, and I've kind of been here ever since. All right. Well, thank you so much again for joining us, and let's head back to you, Tricia, in the studio.